Well, hello out there again, everybody. This is Marvelous Mark making another video. Yeah, yes, this is bordering on prolific here now, but anyway, this is a response to OTRS Central's video about 12 questions for a wrestling fan. And why don't I just dive right into it with number one. How long has the Marvelous One been a wrestling fan? Well, probably about 37 to 38 years, roughly around in there. I first became a fan around 1975, 1976. Back, back in the day when we only had like three channels. <laughs> yes, I am that old. I, I can remember back in those days. But... First time I ever watched wrestling it was on, it was on the old it was on Channel Seven. It was the, the old All Star Wrestling. It was back when you had people like Bulldog Bob Brown and Rufus R. Jones, and you had the Rat Pack, and you had ha Handsome Harley Race. Uh, I'm trying to think of a couple other people: Bruiser Bob Sweetan, people like that. That's that's how I first got into wrestling. And as far as what led me to become a wrestling fan, number question number two, um, not really sure. I think back in the day, I I just turned on the TV one day and we were kind of flipping through the three channels and came across wrestling and man, I was I thought that was interesting, so I started watching it. And there was probably a couple years in in there in like the late 70s when I didn't when I wasn't watching wrestling but then we got cable back in 1981 and and just watching WTBS Georgia Championship Wrestling with people like Tommy Wildfire Rich and Ted DiBiase and the Junkyard Dog and the F Fabulous Freebirds people like that and then then on late Saturday nights on WOR we had had the, the old championship wrestling on it, which was the WWF at, at the time. So, really hard. I've been more of a hardcore fan since like 1981. Okay, question number three. Who was my favorite wrestler of all time? Well, I can tell you who my f first favorite wrestler was. It was Tommy Wildfire Rich back in 1981. This was, it wasn't too long after after we'd gotten first gotten cable that he'd he had won the NWA World Heavyweight Championship from Harley Race at the time, and and sure, he only held the belt for like four days, but four or five days, but but he was my first favorite wrestler of all time. But as far as as far as all time goes, I could name. I mean, there's there's some top contenders like the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, or I could say the Nature Boy. Ric Flair, woo! Or what you gonna do, brother? When you when the Hulkster runs wild on you, but no, it's not Hulk Hogan either. For me, it's gotta be the Stinger. And that kind of ties into question number four: What is my favorite match of all time? I'd have to go back to the very first Clash of Champions on March twenty seventh, nineteen eighty eight. It was it was on free TV going up against WrestleMania four, and it, it's got to be Ric Flair against Sting in that forty five minute time limit draw. But and that, was, that was and why is that my favorite match? Well, just because of the storytelling that was involved in it, and you had Ric Flair who was at the top of his game. He was the he was the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Then you had Sting who was a Who's this up and comer who would eventually become the face of of WCW, which it would become, which Jim Clark Promotions would become. So, yeah. So that's so those two questions kind of tie in together for me. So, and as far as my most memorable moment as a fan, oh, I got. I think I got to go to WrestleMania three, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant, who was about 525 pounds back then. And Hulk Hogan doing the impossible, or what was thought to be impossible, defeat, defeating Andre the Giant. So that, so to me, that's got to be my most memorable moment as a fan. 
Okay, question number six. Um, favorite wrestling company company today? Uh, it's kind of WWE by default because TNA royally sucks. And I don't really watch ROH that much. Uh, but they're, they're starting to get more people into that company that I, I actually enjoy watching. So, hell, that might become my, my new favorite. Who knows? I mean, you got Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian coming to Best in the World 2014 here in a couple weeks. But, okay, as far as favorite wrestler today goes, oh, boy. It'd probably be easier to tell you who my least favorite wrestler is, and that's John Cena, that motherfucker. But, but as far as favorite wrestler today goes, I'd probably have to say maybe Daniel Bryan. I mean, because he seems to be the one, the one wrestler in, especially in the WWE, where that everybody can get behind. I mean, I mean, just the there's no. There's so many different shades of gray when it comes to WWE wrestlers. It's like they always like to talk about Bizarro Land and how the how the how a lot of the heels get cheered and a lot of the babyfaces get booed. Well, you kind of brought that on yourself, you fucks. But okay, as far and then it's like, what do I like about wrestling today? Oh, oh boy. I don't know. I really that's that's kind of a hard question to answer for me, but it'd probably be easier to answer question number nine. What I, what don't I like about wrestling today? I don't like what what don't I like? Oh gosh, probably I don't like in in the uh, like when they're bringing up new wrestlers that they don't put them up against like jobbers. I don't. I don't mean the likes of like Santino Morella or or Heath Slater or somebody like that. I mean true jobbers like, I mean these fucking tomato cans that that you used to see on back in the old days. You'd have you'd have the Macho Man Randy Savage taking on Mario Mancini or somebody like that, or you'd have, or hell, I can remember really back in the day, George George the Animal Steel taking on Lee Wong or somebody like that, you know. I, that's that's one of the things I I really mess about about wrestling and and developing new characters. You put them up against all these tomato cans and then and then slowly build them up the card, you know. But so that's one thing I really don't like about wrestling today. As far as question number ten goes, um, three changes in wrestling I'd like to see. Well, that would be one who I, who I just talked about have, having having your new characters go up against these these tomato cans, these jobbers, you know, these prelim prelim bums that they they used to be called, and I'd like well, another thing I'd like to see is have have more. I know you can't have everybody in the main event scene, but I'd like to see a better mid card where you know like back in the day like back in the 80s and early 90s in WWF you know it wasn't such a bad thing to be a mid carder I mean because you look at some of the people that were in the mid card you had Hacksaw Jim Duggan you had Brutus the Barber Beefcake hell Jake the Snake was Jake the Snake Roberts could have been considered a mid carder I mean that I think he was more, he was probably more towards the upper mid card, but still. And as far as an, another one, oh. I'm sure, I, I'm sure I could probably think of another one, but I'm, I'm just kind of drawing a blank right now. But, excuse me there. Um, question number 11, will wrestling have another boom period? Oh, got it. Not the way it's going right now, because especially not in the WWE, because Vince McMahon, he, he's very hesitant on on making new stars, especially ones that are coming up from NXT. And I I think when he finally does retire, or when he, when he does pass on, when he passes it down to Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, I think I think it could get better. I mean, with Triple H as the top guy, 
as the top guy in the company. I'm not talking, I mean, I mean not wrestling. I'm talking like the Vince McMahon later on in his career, you know. But I'm not sure if there will there'll ever be another boom period. But 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 hey, you never know. And lastly, will I still be watching wrestling in five years? Oh, probably. I don't know. I don't think I'll be going too far away from it unless, unless it gets to really starting to suck. I mean, I'm I'm not just talking like TNA. TNA is already sucking, and TNA probably won't even be around in five years, really. But but as far as like ROH and WWE and that, I'll probably still be watching it. Maybe not as much as I do today, and I don't even watch as much as I used to, but... Anyway, that is what I... Th that's my questions answered for Jeff's video as a response, so... This is Marvelous Mark, signing off for now, and I'll talk to y'all later.